The ocean never stops moving. Surfers know that. This is Maine in January, and a little cold isn't going to stop a couple of diehards from catching a good wave. But waves are more than just runway for a surfboard. They're also a massive source of renewable energy. The amount of energy generated by waves off the coast of the United States could supply a third of the country's electricity. The problem is, we can't get it. Every conventional approach to producing electricity off the ocean's waves has fallen short. Maybe it's time for an unconventional approach. Here at the University of Maine is a 350,000-gallon tank of water capable of simulating almost any ocean condition. But what's got everyone's attention is the little yellow device in the middle of the pool. This is the Triton. The Triton is a prototype wave energy harvester, and its creators, Ascilla Power, are testing it here in Maine to see if they can finally make ocean power a competitive source of energy. Now, this example right here is not what a full-scale Triton would look like. No, this wouldn't make a lot of power if it was this size. Right. Um, the full-scale device would be around about 30 meters in length. The Triton is a, what's known as a two-body wave energy device. We have at the top a surface float, which provides the buoyancy. And hanging below that, we have typically is known as a heave plate. In our case, it's a ring. As the top body moves, the bottom body resists that motion, and that creates energy. If you just looked at the quantity of energy that's available from the ocean, it would give us more than we need as a species. But of course, it's not all economically um, accessible. Right. And that's the bottom line. When it comes to low-cost renewable energy, one of the great success stories has been wind power. In some places, it's now even cheaper than coal. Part of what makes wind more affordable is, well, you're looking at it. That elegant three-bladed tower has become a design standard all around the world. But wave energy is not wind. Wave is the wild west of renewables. No one design has broken out from the pack and economic feasibility has also remained elusive, in part because of the hazards posed by the very source of the energy, the ocean. You have very high energy storms. You have you know, very difficult working environment to install or maintain. I mean, water is difficult to work in. Salt water. Precisely, corrosion, so. biofouling, um, the list goes on. The challenge with wave energy is to be able to build a device that's going to extract energy from ocean waves, that's not going to break, and that's going to do it affordably compared to other solutions. Ascilla has zeroed in on what they believe is the problem with pretty much every design so far, moving parts. This is something electric generators generally have a lot of, and every part that moves is a part that can break down or corrode in the ocean. So, Ascilla developed something called a magnetostrictive generator, which can harvest energy from the waves without actually moving anything inside the Triton. Most electric generators use displacement or rotation to create electricity. But with magnetostriction, power is induced by squeezing metal alloys. This means cheap installation and minimal maintenance, but that's not to say it's an easy thing to design. This all sounds incredibly complicated, incredibly difficult, I guess the question I have is, why bother? What is it about the ocean? I ask myself the same question. <laughs> <laughs> um, why bother? It's an additional source of clean energy. The energy density that you have means that you don't need vast numbers of devices. You only need a few here and there to be able to make a, a tangible contribution towards the global energy supply. Tests like these in Maine show Asilla on track to reach the same energy efficiency as a wind turbine. 
by 2020, they plan to build and deploy a full-scale Triton. If and when they do, Asila will add the force of the world's oceans to a growing list of energy sources that will bring us closer to a truly sustainable future.